Hello, welcome to my channel. I will teach you how to set up Plex Media Server and access it with your own domain name. So let's get started. First go to www.plex.com and go to download. Then click download and please check your OS vision. In my case I got Windows 10. Then click download. Now, install Plex Media Server. Click install and next. After you done installing, double click the Plex icon on the bottom right corner and sign up. After you sign up, click the upper right corner that looks like a tool that's for the settings. Now click the server and click remote access. As you can see we got warning. To fix this we need to go to cmd command and type ipconfig. And after that go to google search and type what's my IP address and save your local IP and public IP information for later. On the IP config you should remember your default gateway. So you can go to your browser and type your default gateway address and access your router. In my case I got Xfinity router. After you log into your router, look for advanced port forwarding and we need to add service or to open some ports. Now, create an account on www.denu. Com. And after you created your account click the control panel and click the DDNS services. After you click DDNS services, click add. Now you're in the dynamic DNS you got two options. Option 1. You can use their top level domain names or you can use your own domain name. In my case I'm using my own domain name. Now you're in manage dynamic DDNS service. Then type your IP before address or go to Google search and search. What's my IP address and click save and after that go back to your control panel and click download and download a new IP update client. After you download go to menu DDNS, go to main and look for name servers and copy this five list of name servers. Now let's go to your domain account where your domain name registered. I'm using namecheap.com. For all my domain names, if you're interested to their services I got a link below on the description. Now we are ready to run. Denu. IP update client. To run this double click. The new icon. On the lower right corner. To open the software. Log in your username and password. Then add your local IP address and public IP address. Then. Type. Command. Ping and your local IP address. Click save and click start. Now. Check if it's working. In this tutorial. I'm using my 342designs.com domain name. And plus don't forget to put colon and your port 32400. I put my link in the description. I think we are done. If you got question, just write on the comment box. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.